Your gorgeous face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Um, well, maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay, we don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kid as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh. Well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay. All right. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> That's the spirit! Oh, and I'm happy to help you learn to apply it, too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. I'd better avoid the training grounds. I swear, His Highness never sleeps. You're out late, Sylvain. Is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women? I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do. Ah, Your Highness! Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night. I'll focus more on my studies. And in return, you'll go into town with me. And we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run of the mill. I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they... Will you never let that rest? It was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. With your brute strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. <sighs> if I do as you wish, will you truly promise to improve your behavior? What'd I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. But you had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri, you always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun. Good morning, Your Highness. Getting in some early training, huh? Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. Morning walk? <laughs> Funny. You still have always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father. 
He worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your big brother? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child and... You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. How about you forget we had this talk all together? And don't mention it to anyone. Oh, that's so many. <laughs> hey Felix, you free? You don't look very busy. Let's go find some girls to chat with. Chat with them by yourself. You're interrupting my training. Hey, come on. Don't talk like that. How long have we known each other? Long enough, if you ask me. We only know each other because of our parents' friendship. I didn't have a say in it. Is that how it went? Huh. I remember it more like you always following me around. Whenever there was something wrong, like you lost to your brother, or you fought with Dimitri, you'd come crying to me. You were so meek and pure back then. Cute even. Like a baby brother. And that's enough. What? I said that's enough! Hey, sorry. I just came to see if you wanted to pick up some girls. I didn't mean to get on your nerves. Look, you've been getting on my nerves for years. I've tried to be patient with you, but I'm tired of holding my tongue. You're reckless in your personal affairs and in battle. And you're always prattling on about women. Well, if a man sees a pretty girl, he can't just let her pass by without commenting. That's just rude. You're insatiable. Do you ever stop? Certainly not to practice your sword technique. You always skip training. And you never consider how your actions hurt others. Or how you hold them back. That's never my intention. Come on. Y you know me better than that. I'm not really... Look, if that's the impression I've given you, then I'm sorry. Hmm. Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. Now it's time to fill my tummy tummy tum. Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. I hope I'm not interrupting. Felix, you weren't listening, were you? I heard enough to know that you're hungry. No, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. You have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering the plants. You're shouting. You can't just spy on people while they're singing without even saying anything! It's not right! I actually did call out that I was coming in. It's not my fault you didn't hear. Well, you need to speak louder then! Ugh, this is so embarrassing. And of course I was singing some silly food song I made up. I should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties. I didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties. 
That food song seemed to be close to your heart. Your stomach isn't far from your heart, after all. Oh, you are the worst! Huh. What was that about? I better water these plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing too. Hey, Annette. Hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Yeah, hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said be... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm. And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy.